Okay, YouTube, as promised, another AR drone mod was going to be the custom hull. And this is uh, for my son, for his birthday. So I asked him, I said, what color do you want it to be and what do you want it to look like? And, you know, I was expecting he wanted it to look all fancy and a lot of stuff all over it. So he just wanted it to be one color. He wants it to be this color. Okay, no problem. So what I did is, this is just regular Rust-Oleum. So it's not special for plastic paint. But as you can see, it works fine on plastic. And the way this works is you paint the inside of this hole so that it doesn't get scratched on the outside. And then later, if you want to add graphics or decals or whatever, you can always stick them on the outside and uh, without worrying about it. And then it gets stuck on with this little tape here. So it's a very simple mod, really. Right, so, really up to it. Right? Open. No special tools required for that. Okay. Instructions. Jeez. Instructions for the job. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. What do you know? Spray it four times. Put the sticky tape on it. Stick it on the hull. Profit. Okay. How much easier is it going to get, guys? Let's just do it, man. Let's pop this lovely thing off of here. Let's put that booger right there. Looks like there's something on the outside, but nothing on the inside. I got to hope, right? This stuff has already shook up pretty good. Give it one last shake for good luck. Got a protective film on the outside, which really shouldn't matter at all. Let me get over this way. I think you'll be able to see better. Let's see. Speaking of seeing better, ever since I got contacts, I swear to God, I got to put on these stupid, cheap old reading glasses to see a darn thing. Okay. Get a little test pattern going, seeing how this thing blasts. Okay. Oh, lovely. See, I'm going to get that all over my fingers. Okay. Uh -huh. But luckily, it's got a nice protective film on the outside, so it really doesn't matter. Wow, this, this Rust-Oleum comes out like a fire hose. <laughs> I mean, my God. I can feel the pressure of the paint. It's like, oh my God. Okay, why don't we put a little more paint on that? Wow. Okay. All right. And that's the first of four. We'll just do that like four times. Now, let me show you. This is what frustrates me about any time you order anything. Even though this was sitting in a really nice box. I mean, a big box. See, bugs are attracted to paint, by the way. See how that bug is looking for the paint? It loves paint. It's dead now. See that? That's a defect. That's a damage. You can't make that go away. See what I'm saying? It's a little crimp. See how sweet and beautiful it is on this side? That's gorgeous. So here I paid 30 bucks for a haul. Now you can't really see that in the package because it's clear. You can't see it. But there it is. Damaged. $30 haul. Birthday present. Luckily my son isn't going to care at all. You know. That's going to look really weird, huh? What a weird color for an AR drone. So anyway, that's basically all there is. And then I'm going to put uh, three more coats like that after this dries a good while. And then uh, stick it on after it's dried even longer because I don't want any problems. So that won't be till tomorrow. Okay, uh, until this thing dries, that's about it. I've got all the paint on it now. It's just sitting there drying. Nothing much to this, you know. It's quite simple, especially something like this. And then later you can just put decals or whatever on the outside, graphics. Probably a lot easier than trying to mask off and do all kinds of finicky paint work inside, right? That's it. Custom home mod. Uh, Part one. I'll show you it all assembled uh, in the next video.